Well, good morning. I'm Christian Navarro, and I am so excited to be taking over Critical Role's Instagram today. It's gonna be a good day. In that last video, it sounded like I was walking with a whole bunch of keys, but I'm not. I'm walking my horse. That's Luna. <laughs> She's my personal security. So we're gonna start off our day how I start off every day with some coffee. And we're gonna walk to the local coffee shop with the, with my horse. And I'm gonna get me a Spanish latte. Coffee secured. And I already drank the first cup. And uh, girls are playing. Typical morning, Casa Navarro. Those dogs kind of run my life, but I wouldn't have it any other way. But it occurred to me that many of you might not have any idea who I am. So like I said, my name is Christian Navarro. I'm an actor. I starred in this show called 13 Reasons Why on Netflix for four seasons. Done other stuff, got other stuff coming out. None of that's important. What is important is I fell in love with Critical Role, tabletop games, role-playing games about three years ago. Uh, I grew up in the Bronx. I had no idea what any of that was. And uh, my best friend, Jack Cummins, shout out Jack, introduced me and I have fallen in love and dove straight in head first. So about a year ago, I told myself, I wanna meet these guys and girls. I wanna work with them. I wanna first and foremost, let them know how important they are to me because like so many of you critters out there and, and I consider myself a critter, um, watching these guys every week and experiencing how much they love and care about each other and the artistry and creativity they bring to to playing this this game um, changed my life really and pulled me through some tough times in my personal life and um, made me appreciate my friends and my family and uh, and I wanted the opportunity to tell them hey you guys have made a difference in my life so that's to say all of that is to say you couldn't have found someone more excited uh, and over the moon to be hosting a panel on Saturday, to have gotten to spend some time with all the folks at Critical Role and to spend some time with you, Critters. Um, and we got some fun stuff planned for the day. Uh, I'm gonna show you my dice collection. It's a growing dice collection, not as cool as everyone else's that has done this takeover. Uh, but I thought it'd be cool if I took you with me and my dad, who's in town for his first Comic-Con, BT Dubs, my first Comic-Con also. Uh, but my dad and I are gonna go shopping for some new dice. I'm gonna take you with me. Might pick up a book or two. Might pick up a Vox Machina pop, I don't know. We'll see what we find. It's gonna be fun. So, I gotta introduce you to my oldest, right? Danny, come here. Come on, come say hello, come say hello. Come here. Oh, snap. It's Daenerys. Say hi, Danny. No? <laughs> this is my dragon, Daenerys Targaryen Navarro. First of her name, Queen of the Andals and the First Men and the Unsullied and, uh, and all those other people. All right, we are in my nerd cave, AKA my office. Um, yeah, can you tell that I'm a, I'm a bit of a nerd here? This box here, right there, those boxes up there, just all Magic the Gathering stuff. Uh, and, oh, wait a minute. Is that, what is that? So if you haven't picked up Vox Machina Origins, this is uh, one and two. I believe the next issue or two issues are out, and I haven't got them. Maybe I'll pick them up today, but you have to. This is just gorgeous artwork, and uh, you get to learn a little bit more about your favorite group of uh, adventurers here, Vox Machina. That's book two. Look at that. It's just beautiful, and uh, I got I got Talison and Liam to sign, but... I need the rest of these folks, beautiful people, to, uh, to sign my book. I hope they will on Saturday. Guys, we got a special appearance here. Travis Willingham. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're all right. Hope the beer's cold and the, uh, and the hammer's bloody. Is that an axe? It's an axe. But uh, Grog is my favorite. So 
So about two years ago, I had this mini made from Hero Forge. Lovely, uh, lovely people at Hero Forge. Uh, and this is uh, the character I play in, in the campaign I'm currently in, two years deep now. And that's Theodmare, a.k.a. Elgar. For those of you who want to know about these things, I'm, uh, I think, a level 9 ranger cleric. Expert marksman with my bow. I do not miss. And, uh, and ordained by Coraline herself. Luna's pooped. It's been a long morning for her already. Not for Danny. All the excitement in the world. Hi, baby. Oh, yes. Say hello to all the critters out there. All right, Dad. Say hello. Hey, how's everybody out there in D&D &D universe? It's my dad, Lee. Fellow New Yorker in California. We're going to go have some breakfast, buy some dice, and, uh, and I'll take you with us. You ready, Dad? Yes. Okay, we're taking a pause in our regularly scheduled programming. For some breakfast. And I'll be back with dice. So, we ate. Uh, believe it or not, my dad's getting a manicure and a pedicure. Uh, and so I am going to go get coffee number two at this really cool spot called Cafe Nico. Uh, and then I'm going to take you guys with me to this place called the Guild House to go look at some some cool dice. I'm trying to get my hands on the next volume of Vox Machina Origins. Uh, and maybe if I can find me a Scanlan uh, pop. To, are there Scanlan pops? I want one. Scanlan's hand! I need it. I need it in my life. Sam Regal, what you up to, man? <laughs> Hi. Well, that's a good question. I reached out to Sam Regal and uh, let him know I was a big fan of Fox Machina, of Critical Role, and uh, he introduced me to Marisha, and I met the team, and we got on well. <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, they saw how much I loved what they did, and uh, it's been a dream of mine since I became aware of them to participate in some way, shape, or form in what they do, and uh, they've made my dream come true. So I have an incredible best friend and DM, and he's, for the last two years, led us on Roll20 uh, because we're all spread out in the pandemic. Um, and I've never played a campaign where I've gotten to roll dice in person. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. I love the hard questions. You know, I've really wanted to play a bard. I've never played a bard. I'm inspired by Mr. Sam Regal, uh, and I think it would be a lot of fun. So probably a bard. Yeah, but also, I'm, I'm currently playing an elf ranger cleric. That's a pretty badass character. Uh, so I want to see what, what he looks like at level 20. Because right now, it's pretty powerful. <laughs> okay, listen, this is like a really hard question. Uh, okay, but it's Grog. And Scanlan's hand! Scanlan, I mean, come on. Scanlan. Grog and Scanlan. Together. But... Important but Laudna is genius and Chetney Chetney just gets me. I love Chetney. So my best friend Jack introduced me to Dungeons and Dragons and to uh, role playing games generally. Um, and I'm an actor, so it just seemed like the perfect opportunity for me to get out of my own way and have fun. And then pretty quickly after I played the first session, um, I just sort of gave over and I was fully immersed in the world and I, I thought I could do this forever. <laughs> and uh, that was about three years ago. Yeah, this is sort of a long-winded answer, but I, I was trying to find other things that I loved as much as I love acting. And uh, first time I played a game with my friends, I knew I, I loved this about as much, so. So I think watching Liam play Caleb uh, was intimidating to me generally uh, and I think having to manage all of those spell slots would drive me crazy okay <laughs> this is a good question um, I just like to always ask more questions uh, when I think I have some backstory or I think I have some character development I ask myself a little bit more and try and dive a little deeper and it's uh, it's kind of how I approach acting roles in general you know 
um, you can always know a little bit more about your character and you just let your imagination go wild and see what feels right. Um, that's what works for me. Also, someone told me a long time ago, great acting is great listening. And I think that's the same thing with, with playing these games, right? Like your character will develop, develop in relation to what happens to your character. Um, so listen. No comment. So I watched it a, the first time I ever watched an episode. It was wildly out of context for me. Um, and it was like one of the big bad combat sequences. And I just saw the commitment and artistry from these folks. And I was like, this is on another level. I think that's up to the, to the boss man. The man, the myth, the legend, Matthew Mercer. Um, and if I was ever lucky enough to play with them, uh, I'd want to create a new character and, and, and play in their world, you know? Ooh, this is a good question. Uh, Tony Padilla would be a, I think I'd start off a rogue and become a fighter. Caleb, <laughs> I love Caleb, I love Liam. He's a, he's a great human being and Caleb was um, genius. No spells over here, baby. I got a bow and an arrow and I don't miss. You know, I, I really like what's going on right now with Imogen and Fresh Cut Grass. I mean, I know it's not a romantic ship, but there's some tender love and care going on there. And I think it's pretty beautiful to watch. All right, we're here, my dad, at the guild house. We're gonna get some dice. All right, we got all, look at all these, these are D6s. We got some basic ones here. Gosh, I don't know, I don't know. Well, those are not for me. Those are not for me, but I only got some over here. So many dice. Oh man, I don't know. Six is over there. What do we got here? You recognize these people? Vex Vex. Vex Vex. All right, I'm going with these critters. I like them. What do you think? All right, we went with these here. In my second campaign, I'm playing a, uh, a rogue, just multi-class bard. So I think these are going to go really well with that. Talison, did you know that they had this? Uh, this is... Coming home with me, Percival Doromo, and all of the other names. No. The incomparable Laura Bailey. Vexalia. These are beautiful. I dropped comics in uh, Belfort, and I found Percy Doromo. Incredible <gasps> role. This is coming with me tomorrow. Talisman, you got sign for me. Really cool. All right, this is a little sneak peek. Tom Tom panel outfit right there. Gotta look good on stage with all those studs. Beautiful people. Just trying to keep up, you know? Okay, beautiful people. Critters all over the world watching this right now. I wanted to leave you. We're winding down here in Casa Navarro. I have to, uh, I have to drive to Santa Clarita because I'm shooting a show up there and we're doing a night shoot tonight. So it's going to go from like eight till three in the morning or so and uh, then I'm gonna drive back here sleep for an hour or two wake up and haul ass to uh, to San Diego to experience a little bit of the fun on the floor I'll be there with my dad walking around for a few hours uh, and then and then it's San Diego comic-con critical role edition baby so one last thought here um, you guys are gonna show up tomorrow in force to support the people you love, the Critical Role family and the cast and the crew. And uh, it's been three years since you've gotten to say, hey, we love you and thank you. And that's what tomorrow's about. Uh, and, and it's also about the Critical Role family saying thank you uh, to all of you guys. And I just wanted to say, um, you guys are one of the best fan bases on the planet. And your kindness, your, com your compassion, your creativity, your talent is astounding. 
every week I'm blown away by what you guys present and the love you show. Um, and for that reason, you all should be proud of yourselves. Uh, and remember tonight, this week, tomorrow, and always that uh, you guys are awesome and you guys deserve all of the love. So um, thank you for welcoming me into your community, into your homes today. Um, it has been a dream and, uh, and I love you guys. All right, I think that's it for me. I got to sign off and get to work. But tomorrow, San Diego Comic-Con, Ballroom 20, 5 p.m. It's going to be amazing. First time in three years. I can feel the energy already. It's going to be all love tomorrow. We're going to bring it. You guys are going to bring it. It's going to be great. 5 p.m., Ballroom 20, San Diego Comic-Con, Saturday, baby. I will see you there. And if you can't make it, next week, July 28th, you can catch the stream on the Critical Role YouTube channel. Thank you for allowing me into your hearts and your homes today. I hope I've been entertaining. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. And uh, I just, I've always wanted to say this, but is it Thursday yet? <laughs>